now we add an other factor in our discussion in this module. So far we have established that the status of variety is determined by the class of speaker and the gender of the speaker. This is so far decided. Now we add the factor of profession and job with gender and language variety. Sometimes jobs are offered on gender basis and we all know this very well. They attract men or women, both are applicants for their seats, for their job. The job may not require specific gender sometimes. Both men and women are encouraged to apply. You might have read this in uh, job advertisement. Okay. Sometimes job is gender specific. Sometimes job is not gender specific, but after you get the job, the assignment of work is gender specific. Women with good communication skills in standard English will be preferred in a pizza shop in Kent area, for example. This area uh, is, uh, you know, this is occupied by elite class people. They live over there, Posh area educated people, refined language, refined variety of language. If a woman has communication skills better than men, she would be hired for this job. Sometimes, so this is, you see, both were applicant, but women were selected because of communi better communication skills. This is what I have said that job assignment may become, uh, it is not selection, but assignment of job that become gender specific. Now, sometimes job requires different language variety for men and for women. The choice is gendered. They work in the same organization, same corporate uh, company, etc. But their job is gender specific and also variety specific. Men would stick to this variety of language and women would always speak in this variety. So see how gender, language, variety and job, they interact with each other. This is often predicted, who will join which job. So skills in the required variety are learned right from school. We all know that which professions, which jobs are specific for women and which are for men. So accordingly, we make choice of our subjects and things like that. Similarly, marriage opportunities may also cause gendered choice of variety. Marriage in the same country, in higher class, for example, or in some other country, foreign country, where some standard variety or different variety of language is used. So this is how the choice of variety becomes a compulsory for us. If a Pakistani girl is going to be married abroad, for example, in UK, and uh, that family speaks a particular variety of UK English, British English. So definitely the girl would have to learn that variety to become part of that family. Similarly, another factor that uh, sometimes make our choice of variety compulsory for us is urbanization and industrialization. Now see how people around Lahore are moving towards Lahore city from small towns and villages for jobs and for education, for better opportunities for themselves and for their children. They are uh, uh, settled 
in Lahore city. So when they come from villages and towns where vernaculars are spoken and they come to Lahore city where some standard variety of that language is spoken and other languages are spoken, so they have to shift their variety. This movement often causes shift from vernacular to the standard or city variety that is spoken predominantly in that city. Women are technicians of language. Now, the, this additional factor that is associated with gender and especially with women. When we come to choice of variety for jobs, etc., so with reference to that, this point tells us that women are technicians of language means they are skillful, more competent in communication, especially in foreign languages or in additional languages. Uh, these languages may be local, but they may be additional additional to their first language or home language. That's why they are known as technicians of language and it gives them an additional cultural capital, a kind of cultural wealth which makes them valuable, which makes their skills valuable in the language market. This quality makes them fit in the front roles in the workplaces. Front roles, the person who first meets when you enter some big organization, college, campus, etc. So he is sitting or she is sitting in front role because women are good at communication, at uh, polite use of language, etc. So usually these days they are hired for front roles because actually they represent the whole organization. The face of the organization is being represented by them. The front of the organization is represented by them. So most of the time when you visit such institutions, organizations, you see women uh, sitting in uh, chairs of receptionists. They are secretaries of uh, uh, managers and uh, they are hostesses. They are phone operators. So these are front role jobs. See the uh, glimpse of women in workplaces. So how they are doing multiple tasks at the same time. Uh, this is a professional look and professional life. They represent company culture with their language skills. In international businesses, multiple uh, multinational companies, uh, they open their offices all over the world. Their original country may be different, uh, but uh, they open their branches, regional offices, etc., in different countries. So, there they hire women. Women are hired to present cosmopolitan image of the company, the universal image, cosmopolitan, the universal image of the company in foreign languages which are spoken by international clients and you know we have said they are good technicians of language they have ability more than men to learn any foreign language so they can talk in foreign languages with international and national clients their voice becomes voice of the company this is so much important, you know. So we conclude that women enjoy higher edge in the job market. This is how gender, job, and language variety they interact. So in international businesses, they have higher edge than men because they are communicatively better than that. The relation between gender language variety depends on local conditions of work or living. 
as there is great variation in local conditions, it is impossible to make any generalization about the relationship between gender and choice of variety. Local conditions vary, local conditions of job where they work, they vary from situation to situation. So that is why we cannot make any general statement about this relationship. We have to keep in mind in which context we are considering the relationship between gender and the choice of variety.